Hey, Jay here. We're going to do a quick tutorial video on the new Switch Connect and the Kate Ray that goes with them. So the setup I have here today, I'm in the office and in the office I have a GLS tunable in the ceiling called Office Ceiling. And then I've got two Ultimum down lights called Office Task 1 and Office Task 2. Those three lights are in a group called Office Group. So I have a couple of tap to runs or scene sets set up. And those are just to adjust the color temperature. So you see here we have one that sets the color temperature to 100%, which is the cool white, 50%, which is neutral, 0%, which is warm white. And then I have a office task lighting reverse switch. So reverse switch is like a, a toggle, or if it's on, it'll turn off, or if it's off, it'll turn on. And then for the ceiling light, I have a reverse switch as well. And then for the whole office, we have reverse switch or toggle too. So those scenes are already set up and they work with the lights here. But we're going to add in one of our new switch connects to control those scenes. So first thing to do, we're going to pair up the gateway. And the gateway, we just plug it into a USB socket or an old charger. And then we need to get it into pairing mode. So to get into pairing mode, press and hold the reset button on the back for 8 to 10 seconds. The lights will do some flashing, it'll reboot, it'll come on. And then you will have the blue light on solid, which means the Bluetooth is active and the red light will be flashing to say that it's in pairing mode. And once that is in pairing mode, we go in as normal to add the device. We hit the plus icon. And you'll see because this device has Bluetooth, it's already discovered. So we can just click through. This will then ask us for our Wi-Fi details. Confirm those. And then that will go through its pairing process so while that's doing that we'll prepare the switch so there's the only prep we need to do for the switch really is just slide off the back cover and remove the battery isolation tab and then put the back cover back on so we can see our gateway is paired click next so same as another product we can adjust the name here or pick the room that we're in but we don't need to do that for this Click done and then that will load up into the gateway so if we just go back to the home screen here we can see that that gateway is just like any other product listed on the home screen so if we click in now we need to pair our switch to the gateway so we need to get the switch into pairing mode so that's press and hold the button for 10 seconds until it starts to flash so we can use either button for this oh, it didn't work Once that light starts flashing, we then click search new device, confirm that it's flashing, and this will search for any Bluetooth devices. So we could pair up um, a couple of switches at the same time here, um, but we see it's just found that one that was in pairing mode, so we can click done, and then this device is added successfully. Again, edit the name, edit the location if we want, press done. You see that switch appears under our gateway, but also if you go back to the home screen, it's then on the home screen as a separate device as well. So once the switch is paired up, it doesn't actually do anything. We need to tell the app what we want this switch to do. So on the switch, we have two buttons and each button can do three different things. So we've got a single press, a double press and a long press for each button. So we'll set those up now. So if we click into the switch. At the top here we can select which button we want to use and we're going to set up button on first and we click on add intelligence down the bottom so this is a similar screen to the the normal automation screen um so we can edit the name now these names are just linked to that particular button so they don't really need to be that descriptive so what i like to do is just call it press double or long depending on which action I'm going to configure. So we call this one press. We click on plus to add a condition and it's going to be single press. And then the task we're going to do, we're going to launch a tap to run. So those scenes that we set up or that I had set up previously, we're just going to call those. We can just go directly into device and adjust them, but because the scenes are already there, that's the, the preferred way that I do it. 
um, so launch tab to run and then we're going to for a single click on button one we will just say the whole office reverse switch we'll turn on or off the lights usually when I'm setting up a switch for a room I find the best thing to do is take button one single press just to be on off control for that room it's the most natural thing for someone if they walk into a room they see a switch they're just going to press it once and they expect the lights to come on or turn off so I would always configure that as the default for single press on button one so we can save that you see that shows up under here it's a town we will add in our double press just call it double and the condition then is double press and the task we're going to do for that again launch a tap to run and this time we'll just do a reverse switch on the ceiling Hit next click save again that shows up I'm going to add in another one this one we will call long condition long press and the task again launch tap to run and this one we're going to call it the office task lighting reverse switch um, we can actually select a couple of different scenes here to be triggered at once but we're just going to do one each for these and just to show you um, under device it'll show the individual commands for for those devices if we wanted to use those so we can save that one again so that's that button fully configured button two we'll do the same again we can just call this press single press and launch tap to run and for single press we'll say zero percent which is our warm weight next and save and again edit the name double double press launch tap to run 50% save again and then finally we're going to do our long long the condition is long press and then finally color temperature 100% save so for both buttons we have now six different scenes attached to them and that could be a number of scenes or just individual device commands so i'm going to fit this switch now and i'm actually going to just put it on top of the wall switch in here already and um, i'm not going to remove that wall switch i'm just going to put this in as well um, and then we'll have a look at the buttons in action so to switch installed we will just run through them now to show them working so single press on button one we'll turn the lights off and then back on a double press just turns off the ceiling light back on and then a long press which is three seconds turns off the task lighting and then I've also turned them back on so button two on the switch there's a the color temperature so single press goes warm white double press goes to neutral and then the long press will set them to cool white.